In this case, the child had an incomplete apex with a necrotic pulp and periapical disease. At the first appointment, under rubber dam isolation and local anesthetic without epinephrine, the chamber was accessed and a necrotic, purulent exudate was found. The canal was irrigated for 10 minutes with a 5% solution of hypochlorite. The canals were dried with paper points and a mixture of bi-antibiotic paste was inserted into the canals with files. The access was closed with cotton, cavet, and term. No instrumentation was done. 26 days later, all the symptoms had dissipated and the fistulous tract had closed. The tooth was then anesthetized without epinephrine and the canals were flushed to remove the bi-antibiotic paste. Bleeding was induced using a number 30 file to begin revascularization. A collocoat plug was inserted and a 3 mm thickness MTA plug was placed at the level of the CEJ. A glass ionomer base was placed over the MTA and the tooth was restored using a bonded composite resin taking care to adjust the occlusion. Six months later, a mineralized material had partially closed the apex, lengthened the root, narrowed the canal space lumen, and thickened the dentinal walls. The tooth has remained asymptomatic and disease-free. Thank you for joining us at JCDA Blogs. I'm Ian First from Coronation Dental Specialty Group in Southwestern Ontario.